Oh wait, I wanted to listen to Undertale music. One second. <laughs> One second. Hi. Hello, world. My name's Superyuza. I'm your favorite lemon lime flavored robot, and I am setting things up. <laughs> Here we go. Um, let's see, what do I want to start off today? First of all, uh, I have my dog here. Hi, Mill. I have my dog here. Um, I'm patting him right now. Uh, I I put a little cat bed on on a cave for him. It's next to my chair, so he's like on level with my butt. You're getting the stinkies in early today! Jeez. I also love that for him. Um, it's his first time on there. I, in fact, put him on there like a minute ago. I think he's still coming to terms with it. <laughs> we'll see how he likes it. I hope he likes it. I spent money on this bed. Here, here, Here's my trick for if you own a rabbit. Just get stuff for cats. <laughs> Just get stuff for cats. Who cares about shit that's marketed for a rabbit? Just just get stuff for cats. Cat beds, cat bowls. Well, they tend rabbits do tend to tip those over, but cat litter boxes, cat scratch toys. Just get stuff for cats. <laughs> you didn't get to say last stream. Did I figure my pronouns out? Yes. I have them figured out already. It was just a stream to announce them. I also tweeted about them. They are she, he. Yes. I tweeted about it. I'll be- I'll still be retweeting it for like a day or so just to make sure that everyone sees it. Yeah. I sent Vaughn the design. I asked him to give me a rate. He hasn't yet. <laughs> but I'm very excited. Yeah, just feed him cat pate. It's definitely not fine, but <laughs> you'll want to eat it. You know what I ate for dinner today? I ate half a whole strawberry roll cake. And I regret it. <laughs> and I regret it. It was not cat pate, unfortunately. I wish it had been cat pate. But my dog wanted it real bad. I'm rubbing his cheek. This is nice. I can just rub his cheek. You have beans and rice. That's good. That's good though. I love beans and rice. Separate and together. I think everyone knows I'm a big fan of lagoons. Not roll up, roll cake. You know, where you put where you bake a real thin big sheet of cake and then you spread cream and you roll it, that kind. Japanese style curry. Oh my god, that's so good. I should make some of that. I should make some of that. I have curry roux. Maybe I'll make some. Um, let's see, that's order number one. So if you hear anything, right, that's my dog fucking about. Because <laughs> he can hang out with me while I stream now. I hope, if he likes it. And if he doesn't pee on it. No guarantees he doesn't pee on this bed. <laughs> I'll say getting this bed. Was a fucking... I went on a trip. Let me plug in my tablet. You stayed in Kyoto last month? Damn, I wish that was me. <laughs> you like the bed? You like it, dog? It's dog-sized for you. Not real dog-sized, I guess chihuahua-sized, but... You can get down if you want, you know? You can just jump. <laughs> it's not that high. Oh, he's licking it! He likes it! He's licking it! Probably because I washed it, so it smells like me. <laughs> tricked ya! I tricked ya! You were there the whole September for an internship? Damn! I hope you had fun. I've been wanting to go to Japan since I was a wee little weeb kid, and I still want to. Let's see. There you go. I 
Fought with some Germans about sausage. Yeah, Germans are pretty... We are very insistent about our sausage. What is it? You want down? You want here? You want on lap? What is it? This is the stream where the dog figures out his face. Yep, he's on my lap. <laughs> hey. Hey. You leaving? There's a reason why it's called the worst, haha. <laughs> is there now? Is it because worst is sausage in German? What is it, dog? I'm trying to I'm trying to do a stream. Do I still smell like cake? Do you want my cake still? He wanted that cake so bad. It's the worst. No, it's good. You can't say that. I love sausage. I love any kind of German sausage, even the one that's weird. Tee hee, everyone sure does want my cake. Haha, <laughs> tee hee 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 hoo hoo. <laughs> so getting this bed, right? The reason that I got this bed was because I needed to get litter for the dog. German sausage is mid, then you haven't had the good one. Then you haven't had the good kind. You know there's like 50,000 kinds of German sausage. That's on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're Polish, so you know your sausage. I see where this is coming from. I see it. So, I needed to get litter for my dog. Because he poops in his little litter box, and he doesn't- he can't use cat litter. So, I can only buy it in like 20 pound bags. And I'm just one weak robot. I don't have a car. <laughs> So what I usually do when I go and get litter for him is I go to the pet store that's four bus stops and two tram stops away and I pick up a 20 pound bag and I carry it home in my weak little arms and I carry it up four flights of stairs. We might have started to a whole world was because of this argument. That's why I see where it's coming from. And then by the end of it, I'm dead. <laughs> so what I did this time, because I couldn't be asked to leave my home, is I went onto the pet shop website and I ordered the litter online. But they didn't have the 20 pound bags, they only had... They only had 8 pound bags. I'm like, fine, I'll just get two of those. You know? And then I was like, well, I'm already on this website. Right? So I might as well throw in some other shit that the dog could use. So I got another bed, I got him some treats, I got him another scratch board, a cat scratch board that he uses to lay on and chew. I got those things. And then I I, I said, the, the, the delivery note for the delivery company, I said to drop it off at the front door if they can't reach me. Because I knew it was going to be a huge fucking package. A huge and heavy package, right? And I've ordered litter before, and they have just dropped it off at the front door before, even without me telling them to. So I was pretty confident I'd get it and then I'd just have to carry it up the stairs, and that would be that. Last Friday, I... I get a notification on my phone. Your package has been delivered. I go downstairs. It's a different package. It's a smaller package that they left there. It's not the, the package from the pet shop. It's my advent calendar. <laughs> it's my advent calendar. I got an advent calendar. It's October, but I have one now. And I'm keeping it safe until December. Anyways, they dropped that one off. And I go and check my mail, because I'm down there anyways, and they dropped a little slip in my mailbox that says, we left a package at the post office for you. I'm like, why? Why? Because I know it's the huge, heavy pet shop package that they dropped off at the post office. And that's so fucked up of them. <laughs> With like chocolates or beer. With tea. 
with tea. Because the chocolate ones are kind of mid and they're cheap. They're like too cheap that I don't care about. <laughs> and the beer ones are too expensive. So I pounced on the first tea advent calendar that had a regular, that had like a normal price. <laughs> Because I've, I've been getting a lot of advent calendar ads on Instagram, and every single one of those that interests me, I click on, which is mostly like beauty, tea, wellness stuff. Ugh. But all of those are like a hundred bucks for some reason. So the second I saw a tea advent calendar that was like 20 bucks, I was like, hell yeah, give it to me. And then I ordered it and I got it. So that's fine. But it was Friday evening, because I slept really late, so I didn't... I didn't go to the post office, because I didn't want to. Right? And then on Saturday, I had D&D, so I didn't go to the post office either. And then Sunday is Sunday in Germany, so the post office is closed. So I went on Monday, yesterday. I got up at like 4. And I fed the dog. And I was like, I can grab breakfast later, right? It's, it's too early, I just got up. If I eat now, I'll throw up. So I went out without eating breakfast. I walked the like, I don't know, 600 meters to the post office. And I get there, I'm like, hey, someone dropped off a package for me. And the lady goes to check in the back and she's like, uh, it's big and heavy, right? Yeah, you sure? And I'm like, yep. <laughs> and she lugs this package out. And I'm like, oh my god. Now, again, I have ordered litter from this exact company before. But when I ordered litter before, I would get the 20 pound bags and I get two of them. So it'd be worth it. <laughs> And they ship these two eight pound bags in the same size box as the two 20 pound bags. I'll draw, I'll, I'll draw a diagram real quick. Right, this is me. Big Roberts. <laughs> well, anyway, that's me. And this is the box. That's me! And that's the box. This is the size of the box. I'm not exaggerating. And this- that's six, that's 16 pounds! I could definitely fit in the box. <laughs> 16 pounds. Plus minus. 8 kilos. Actually, no, it's wait. The bags are 4.4 kilograms, which is 8.8 .8 kilograms, which is. 17.6 pounds. Imagine getting a huge box for free. It's not a good box, all right? Listen, I know how to appreciate a good box. This is not a good box. Because it's not sealed like a normal box. So to get your shit out, you have to really just fucking tear it apart with your teeth. So then you don't have a good box after you've gotten your stuff out. 
Anyways, I have this box. This heavy ass box. It's not... I can fit in it, but I'd have to like... I'll, I'd have to curl up, right? That's not a leg. <laughs> I'd have to curl up to fit in it. Anyways, I have this box and I have to carry it home. I'm just weak. And the box is too big to carry properly. Like, I thought I could, like, you know, prop the box up like this. And carry it like that. But it's too big! <laughs> if I were to carry it like this, it would just tip over to the front. And also, I wouldn't be able to see. <laughs> And also, I wouldn't be able to see. So I'm like, okay, what if I carry it like like this? What if I carry it like that? The thing is, it's too wide. It's too wide, I can't get my arms across it. Like, my arms just are not this big. It doesn't work. My arms are not that long. Like, my hand is, like, here. And that's not secure! So, what I do for, like, the biggest part of the journey home is I carry it like this. <laughs> okay, not that low. <laughs> I carry it like that. I'm sorry I'm small. And that's very uncomfortable. It's all on this hand. My muscles start hurting like shit. I make it like halfway home and then I, I see a bench and I put the box on and I just rest because at that point I can't feel my muscles. <laughs> I can't feel my muscles, so I it and I rest. And I rest for like half a minute. When... A passersby stops me. She's like, is everything okay? I'm like, yeah, it's fine, I'm just taking a break. And he's like, well, where do you need to go? I can help out. I'm like, I'm heading that way, but I'm like... I gotta turn into the street there, and she's like, oh, it's fine, I'm headed in the same direction. And she helps me carry it like 30 feet. <laughs> because let me, let me demonstrate. So, there's a main street here. This is the street that I live in. I'm just doxing myself now, it's okay. Like, it's closed, right? Here's the post office. So basically I've gone like this. Right? And over here is the bench. So she helped me carry it over here. <laughs> and then she had to go this way. <laughs> Oh no, you're gonna find my address! How did you know I live in Yuzu Street, number Yuzu, in Yuzu House? <laughs> so she helps me carry it, like, 30 feet. Very kind of her. Not that great of a help. <laughs> so I only have to make it down the street to my house now. I'm like, okay, I can do this. And I pick it up and my arms immediately give in. <laughs> I can't- I like physically cannot pick it up anymore, so what I do next...
I crab walk at home. Oh no, you tricked me. I doxed myself. How could you do this to me? <laughs> Nobody clipped this. <laughs> I crab walk this thing home. <laughs> like, you know. You, you twist it on its corner. Hi, <laughs> Rembrandt. You are one of my friends with a car. <laughs> Usually they don't drop off boxes this big at the post office. It's not my fault. <laughs> I shuffle this box home and I get... I kid you not, I get... 30 feet on the pavement, and then I realize I've shaved the ass of the box just completely off. <laughs> it had rained earlier that day, and I, mid-shuffle, I'm like, you know what? I bet the bottom is getting real worn out. Let me flip it over. And I turn it upside down. And it's just like this. And it's completely so it's soggy. This cardboard, it's wet. The bed is like poking out. It's also soggy. I'm like, well, fuck me. <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> At this point, I'm like halfway in my street, so I'm just like, what? You know what? You know what? Fuck this. I take out the bed, I take out one of the bags, and I just walk those two home. I leave the box where it is, and I just make two trips with that shit. <sighs> and now I have a big giant box. In my house. And the dog has a new bed. Those are my adventures. Getting to the post office, and also I'm sore as hell. <laughs> I got home at like six after this debacle yesterday. Um, and I set everything down. I immediately changed into pajamas and just went into bed. <laughs> and I, I was so exhausted for the rest of the day. I went to sleep at two. And I woke up at two today, which is crazy because just just let me give you give you give you give you some 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 backstory. Yesterday and the day before that, I stayed up till six a.m. <laughs> and I slept till like five p.m. So this thing fixed my sleep schedule. <laughs> Is it true that in order to become a VTuber, you need to graduate from clan college? Because that's a jester's story. Well, I'm glad you asked. Because, you know what? I'm actually a clan college valedictorian, and I've never gotten to tell that to anyone. I graduated with a 4.0 GPA from clan college. Yes. I'm a proud clown. Please tell the sleep schedule VTuber. You, you're probably right. <laughs> you're probably right. No, I'm... You know. <laughs> you know how things happen. But look, Mel's proud of me, and that's what matters. Anyways, that's my story of why I'm sore today. Get this shit out of here.
wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> it's me! <laughs> That's crazy. I missed your epic Japanese tea flex. Let's see if I can find it. You know what you miss about Japan? Rows upon rows of ice cold, unsweetened teas in 0.5 liter or 2 liter bottles in like every convenience store that were barely more expensive than water. Getting a bottle of cold jasmine tea whenever you want inside of st instead of st sticky soda when it's hot as fuck outside is fantastic. Hmm. In Germany, we have just flavored waters that are pretty cheap. What's my dog doing? Where's my dog? Oh, he's cleaning himself. Flavored waters are good, but it's like 90% sugar. Is that not iced tea also? <sighs> so, today's stream. Oh! I forgot to get my notepad. Another thing, then, I can slip this in nice. Um, I popped out my... Uh. My Twitch quick actions panel to have an OBS, so I don't have to open Twitch to do it. So I'm going to try running a one minute ad while I get my notepad with all my notes in it. Is it going? It's, it's loading. Is it running? It's running. It's, it should be running. Okay, bye. back that's still going according to my stream manager do we actually have ads this time i'm flipping through my notebook <laughs> wait it's not all my notes but that's fine Okay, the ad should be done now. Did everyone- did people see an ad? Did people see an ad? Did- did it- did the ad work? Because if it worked, this would have solved my problem. Of- Why? I know it's not your choice, I'm just trying to think why it wouldn't show an ad. That's so weird. Is it because of my ad settings? But this should override the ad settings. 
Yeah, Jeff Bezos personally doesn't want to give me any money. I should sue him. Ugh. That's messed up. I don't get it. Hmm. I should ask Twitch support. Yeah, I should, huh? Man. <laughs> yeah. I'll get on that at some point, I guess. <laughs> But, um, Kid Rags, you mentioned a couple days ago that you got a pre-roll ad for me, right? So it's not that there are no ads on my channel, it's just that I personally can't roll ads. That's so weird. That's weird. <sighs> well, anyways. So, what I was saying... <laughs> On Twitch.tv, the ads roll you! We're being rolled right now. I'm getting rolled. Holy shit, I'm getting rolled like a burrito. Ah... <laughs> right, anyways. So... You're going to sleep? Wow! Look at you, someone's responsible! Oh, today on stream. I was getting to that. <laughs> so, one of the first games that I ever streamed was 999. I streamed that back on my old PC before I had this model. And 999 is part of a series, of, of a trilogy of games. And the second game is Virtuous Last Reward. That was one of the first games I streamed on this laptop. It was very long, the story was very convoluted, and I eventually ditched it because 1. I wasn't feeling it in the moment. 2. Viewer engagement was bad. 3. I was really depressed. <laughs> so I dropped it. I said I'd play it off stream in my own time, but I never did that. And now that I am more... I am in a better health space. Mental health-wise. I'm more confident in it. And viewer engagement has been better, though. It's not guaranteed that it will be good during the game, but I think I'm okay. <laughs> 999 sounds like strange horror JRPG made by one guy on RPG Maker. It does sound like it. It's not, though. Um... So I dropped it. And I want to pick it back up. But because it's been, like, half a year, and I don't remember what happened, and I assume I have a lot of new viewers, and also my old viewers probably don't remember what happened. I'm doing a recap stream. <laughs> I have, like, minimal notes that I took in my notepad, because the notes that I took before that are lost to time. They're gone with the trash. I assume I threw them out when I cleaned it. <laughs> so I have... Minimal notes on my notepad, and the rest is memory, and I'm gonna try to recap the story from what I remember. And I'll ha I have MS Paint up to, like, guide me. That's today's stream. Thank you for asking. <laughs> and we're listening to Until again, because I want to. Uh, spoilers? Yeah, spoilers for Virtue's Last Reward. Two endings. Because there's like nine endings, and I've got two. I played through half of the available timelines, and I got two. One second. I got two endings! Fucked up. Fucked up. Yeah. So, I'll. It will be mostly plot recap and explaining the game. And then there will be some conjecture on my part. Because the story is very convoluted and I'm trying to make sense of it. So I'm putting on my little conspiracy hat and I'm conspirarizing. <laughs> 
if I get anything wrong, that's just because I'm remembering a different timeline. So true, baby! So, um, let's see. You're going to sleep? Yeah, no problem. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good night. I hope you get restful dreams. Um, I'm just gonna start- I'm gonna start drawing. Ugh. Um, as in 999, the previous game, we have nine characters. Uh, I'm gonna try to draw them from memory. It's not gonna look good. <laughs> Strong eyebrows. That's a mono bro. Nose. Hair. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? <laughs> Who the fuck is this? <laughs> Did he have scruff? That might be what the main character looks like. His name is Sigma. I know. I know. Is that what he looked like? I'll Google them after I've drawn all of them. I'll do that. Then we have the female lead. You're pretty sure that's not what he looks like, but you're just remembering other characters when you try to remember. So true. He just looks like a dude. This is Fi, she has white hair and she's like, indifferent. These two have history. I'll get into that later. Um, Let's see if I can even remember all the characters, huh? <laughs> um... This guy's smug. That's Dio. He's a jackass. And he's voiced by Liam O'Brien. I still remember that. Dio. Um... She still have pic no she has like a scrunchie now. What the fuck is this? This is Clover. Clover is um not in lesbians, but I wish she was. With Alice. Is Dio a Tumblr sexy man? He's absolutely a Tumblr sexy man. Or maybe he's too misogynistic to be a Tumblr sexy man. Ah, 
Alice. Alice has her boobies out, but I'm not drawing that. That's five. <laughs> um. This balding man. That's... Shit, what's his name? I don't remember his name. His name's Grandpa. I guess adopted grandson. Looks like a monkey. Quark. Then... They're getting rounder and rounder as I keep... <laughs> too red, but whatever. Luna? I don't think she had buns, but whatever. Luna, who is voiced by Laura Bailey. Um, oh fuck, what does K look like? Oh hey, I remembered all of them. Look, I got all of them, I just forgot Grandpa's name. <laughs> what he looks like. Uh, what the fuck does K look like? I know he I know he's shaped like a thumb. I mean, that's not it, but I'm in love with him. Kay's a robot. Okay. This is our main cast. Tenmyoji, yes! I'm so surprised you remember. Holy shit. You're incredible. Yoji. Hell yeah. You're amazing. <laughs> I don't think I drew these guys accurately at all. I'm moving them to the side for now. You got several crash courses on this game by me. Well, every time I would stream it, I did give a, a recap, so <laughs> it's possible. The setting. E L R. I'm not gonna sketch this one out. So, basically, the story of this game. We are nine people. We are stuck in a warehouse. Are you following? We woke up in a warehouse. And we are all strangers. Well, some people know each other. But for the most part, we are all strangers. Uh. Oh, you know who, which character I'm forgetting? Whoops. 
Zero the third? Who's an evil rabbit hologram? Yeah, that looks right. Yeah, there's a rabbit in this game. He's not one of us. Let me grab him. You come over here. <laughs> um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So we're in this fucking thing, right? We're trapped. We're in this warehouse. We learn that there's a door. To open this big door, you have to accumulate nine points. Actually, maybe I won't write stuff down. Nine points. To get the points, we have to play a game. I don't remember what it's called. It's like AB game or something. I'll call it the betrayal game. In this game, we are split up for different reasons into pairs. I think. We're split into pairs. And every pair gets a choice. Right? Every. No, wait. We're split into thirds, sorry. <laughs> We're split into thirds. And then the third is split. <laughs> then the third is split into one pair and one solo. Yes. Uh. And of the pair and the solo, you each get to choose to betray or to ally with the other party. Obviously, it's a prisoner's dilemma, right? If you choose to ally and the other person chooses to betray, you lose two points? Some amount of points. And they get three points. If you both choose to ally, you both gain two points. It's... A moral quandary! <laughs> I think you start out with three points in the beginning. Whatever. Anyways, so to open the door, you have to get nine points. To get nine points, you have to play the game. To play the game that takes place in a special room, you have to find a key card. And the key card you find by basically doing an escape room. <laughs> Uh, by doing a puzzle. It's every game theorist's favorite! The prisoner's dilemma! Yippee! You have to solve, in fact, several puzzles <laughs> to find the key cards. And to solve the puzzle, you have to go through a colored door. This matters, right? The colored door. I don't fully remember the mechanics, but what matters is that all nine, I'll call them players from now on, all nine players have a wristband on their wrist, duh, <laughs> that tells them how many points they currently have, their color, and whether they're a solo or a pair. So pairs and solos get assigned who knows how? <laughs> and 
pairs are bound together. So pairs have to do everything together. And solos are, you know, free. Um, now let's say the door that they have to go in through is red. I think it's just- I- if I remember correctly, it's just color theory. Red? Red? Let's do something easier, let's say green. <laughs> Red? How did this work? <laughs> I never learned color theory. Let's just say green. The door is green. The color of the door changes, by the way. Let's say the door is green. Um, the players each have their colors assigned. There, I think, is always three colors assigned. So for every color, there's a pair and a solo. Um, to get green, for example, I don't remember if this is right. You would either... Yeah, exactly. You don't have to think about the color mechanic. So I'll just like roughly explain it. You'd either get all three green players... Or... You get the two yellow, for example. And one blue player. And then you can go through this door. Simple. <clears throat> Either way, once you go through the door, you solve the puzzle, you get the key card, you start playing the betrayal game. You play the betrayal game with the people you went into the door with. Right? And they're still split to pair and solo. You get your points, and then once you get nine points, game over. You leave. But you, the door, the big door only opens once and only the people with nine points can go through. So, if, for example, someone gets nine points, who's a dickwad, you don't want him to get out because he's gonna leave you all behind. Alternatively, if someone nice gets nine points, they could stay behind and wait for everybody else to get nine points. We don't know. That's the basis of this game. And this this whole cycle, th this whole cycle repeats as many times as possible until people start to get the fuck out of there. Simple, right? Definitely not super duper fucking complicated and makes no fucking sense. Uh, get out of here. <laughs> That's that. Now let's get into the players. <laughs> Um, this looks like, it looks like I wrote lover and not clover. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, I'm gonna grab everybody. Is this off screen? Yes. Okay. Good enough. What are you doing, dog? Now let me tell you a little bit more about all the players. I think I'm gonna have to, like, I'm gonna end up making a diagram for this. Thinking. <laughs> Everyone else, come down here. Okay. So, Sigma. He is our main character. Is that too small? Let me know if you can't read this. He's our main character. 
That's like his most important feat. <laughs> the other thing that matters about him is that apparently uh, he is able to travel through timelines. Then there's Fi. She seems to know Sigma. And what I've inferred from this is that partners with, with Sigma, like not romantically, but some other kind, partners with Sigma and can also timeline travel. Because she starts off the game, uh, in the first game, when you've just woken up, Sigma and Phi are paired, so they talk a lot. And Phi seems to know Sigma from somewhere, and she also seems to be like talking about something about timelines. So that's what I've inferred from that, is that they used to like timeline travel together to like save the world or whatever. But Sigma has forgotten. That's his thing. He can timeline travel, but he forgets what happened once he travels to a new timeline. Except for, like, really important story parts <laughs> that he'll randomly remember. That's- that's their stuff. Uh, Tenmyoji. Adopted Quark. One. Uh, will do anything for Quark, basically. Right? Uh, two. Looking for childhood love. It turns out, if you play through the Tenmyoji route, which I have done, is that he is actually Junpei, who is the main character from the previous game. And the childhood love is actually Akane, the female main character from 999. Mm, that's that. Uh, Quark. Just a little boy. Just a little boy! Uh, Dio. What we've learned... ...for Dio... ...is that he is part... ...of a... ...terrorist organization... ...called Myrmidons? I don't remember. Um, he's part of that. And they are also all clones, so it's likely that Dio is a clone himself. And... Looking at my notes. Looking at my notes. It's... I think... <clears throat> In basically all the timelines, Alice would end up getting stabbed, and sometimes Luna would get injected with a poison by an injection gun. I think we've like basically settled that Dio is the one who kills Alice. Right? Kills Alice. Oh, and also there's a dead body that we find at some point. <laughs> <laughs> There's a dead body. <laughs> and he... I think it's confirmed he killed that lady. So... Kills dead lady. Clover. She was a player in the first game, 999, which had a very similar... Uh, set up. Again, nine people trapped somewhere and they have to solve puzzles to get out. Junpei, Tamyoji was one of them, and Clover was another person. Was part of... N no... N no... No... What's it called? <laughs> like, nine game? No Nona? No... No. No, Nate! <laughs> Thank you, Mill. 
was part of Nonary Game. And she's part of some secret organization. Secret organization. And she is Alice's subordinate. Alice. We don't really know anything about her. Secret organization. Uh, like Clover's boss. We don't know anything about Luna. We know fucking nothing about Luna. Hey. Robot! Um... Grew up somewhere like the warehouse. Maybe even the warehouse. We don't know. No memories. He's slowly recovering them. That's... things about the characters. <laughs> Phi and Sigma work together pretty much all of the time, so they're like... they're one unit. They're a unit. Uh, same with Clover and Alice, unless they are, you know, unless they're split up due to the way the game works. But they'll still, like, always support each other. Oh, that's a square! <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just making a chart! <laughs> And, uh, Temyoji and Quark. Dio, Luna, and Kay act on their own accord pretty much, like they're not bound to another person. Um, the difference between them is that Luna's very kind, She's a bit meek, you know, shy. Kay's just the dude, except he's a robot and has no memories. And Dio's a fucking jackass. <laughs> and Dio's a fucking asshole. <laughs> right? That's the difference. Um. So, let's see. I'll move Kay over here. Luna over here. And Dio can be in the middle, I suppose. Uh, Dio. Works for the Myrmidons. Which is a terrorist organization. I don't remember what they want. Um... Oh, right. Also, there is a big pandemic. <laughs> Throughout playing the game, you find out that there is a pandemic outside um, that happened pretty soon after Sigma, Clover, and Alice were abducted for the game. The others don't specify when they were abducted. Uh, I have another theory for that. I'll get into that in a second. Um... Yeah, we can leave it like that. The Myrmidons, they're a terrorist organization. I don't remember what they want, but one theory that I had is that they... caused the pandemic outside. I think we get clues that, like... the pandemic is real bad, and it killed a lot of people, and some people were being locked away in underground shelters. So they're thinking like, is that us? Do we get locked in an underground shelter? And then they're like, but we just got abducted, like yesterday. There's no way a pandemic has already wiped out the entire Earth. So my theory is that we're in the fucking future. We got cryonically frozen and we're in the future. Um, 
we find out through playing the game that there are at least three treatment pods in the facility. Which my guess is that they, the treatment pods, put three people into cryo sleep. And I've written in my book, hold sleep to prevent viral spread. Now I don't remember if that's confirmed or if that's just something I made up. <laughs> But I wrote that down, and my guess for people who were in cryo sleep, those three people at least, are Sigma, Alice, and Clover, because those three remember being abducted, or those three have talked about being abducted, right? And also, oh my god. I don't know if I had this thought before, but, uh, orange, green. Tenmyoji and Clover knew each other, right? Because they were both in the first nonary game. And Clover was like a teen, and Tenmyoji, or Jinpei, was like in his early 20s. And now he's a shriveled old grandpa and Clover is still young. I, I don't think I realized that before. <laughs> so, you know, that's my guess. Sigma, Clover, and Alice were frozen, and the others are from the future. <sighs> um, what else? What else? What else? Right, there's a dead body. Um... A dead body... Dead body that is found through the course of the game. I'll use red to mean murdered by. <laughs> How's this? Ooh. Not great. <laughs> Yo murders her, I think. I think that's confirmed. Yo murder her. And then once this body is found, um, the likelihood that people... Oh, I don't think you can see Kay. <laughs> He's down there! <laughs> Oh, let me move everybody. How's that? Yeah, that's good. Once this dead body is found, people who have nine points are way more likely to leave. To, like, get help. I think in separate timelines, both Phi and K had amassed nine points and left because they they were of the opinion that it's so serious inside that they need to go out and get help. That was their logic. I think Phi, K, and even Alice. No, not Alice. Alice forced Clover to leave. I think. That's what- th I think that's it. <laughs> Anyways. Um... Right, there's the case of Luna. Luna... Gets... Killed... Via... Injection gun. In some timelines. Who kills her? I think it's Alice. Yes. No, yes. No, yes. Yes. 
because Alice thinks, once the body is found, that Luna is the one who killed her, so Alice kills Luna. Oh god. Uh. I think that's it. <laughs> the thing is, there's two injection guns around. I wrote that down. I don't remember what that means, but I wrote it down. There's two injection guns. So there's a second one that someone else could use to murder. Oh, also the virus. <laughs> virus. Uh, infected people want to unalive themselves. Very, uh, brutally and very immediately. As is shown, because Quark gets infected sometimes. Or Alice gets infected? Did Alice get infected and kill herself? I thought Dio killed Alice. Maybe it's two separate timelines. Maybe in one timeline Alice got infected and killed herself, and in the other timeline, Dio got her. <laughs> oh my god, I don't remember. <laughs> I'll say my initial idea for the stream was, I'll just do a quick recap and then I'll start playing the game. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, no. The virus. Virus outside. Infected people want to kill themselves. Very brutally. Quark tried to kill himself. We put him in the pod that we found. And that helped him. Uh, oh right. More to Quark. Oh. Can I not move this? Oh. Uh, goes missing half way through the game. Unless we put him in the pod. <laughs> like, by the third round of the game, usually. Hmm. What else? What else? What else? We know Sigma got abducted Christmas Day... 20-something. 2028? I think. And Clover and Alice a couple days later. Hmm... What else is in my notebook? Treatment pods, cryo-sleep, two injection guns... Three people cryo... Myrmidon started pandemic... Oh! Oh! Now that's a guess! Question mark. Ace part of terrorist organization. Ace was the guy who started the last nunary game. Or was... Oh, not the last, the first one. Oh! <laughs> Do I have to get into that? have to get into 999 lore? Basically, a long long time ago, a guy from a pharmaceutical company, we'll call him Ace, <coughs> started the first nonary game, which was to test children if they could develop, like, telepathy. <laughs> to do that, he abducted 18 children, he put 9 of them in one facility and 9 of them in another. And in the one facility, the kids had to solve puzzles under, like, threat of their lives. And in the other facility, the kids had the solutions to the puzzles. You know, hence the, the whole thing. Um, that's what- Clover was part of that. And... 
uh, Talora was part of the first Nonary game, then, like, a bunch of years later, might even be nine, because that would make sense. <laughs> nine years later, a bunch of people related to that first Nonary game get abducted again to, and are forced to play another Nonary game again, and that's where Clover and Junpei meet. They play the Nonary game, and while playing, a bunch of people who were behind the first Nonary game, including Ace, not Ace actually, two people who were involved with the first Nonary game get murdered by Zero, the first, who put on the second Nonary game. Now this Zero and his sister who were both part of the first Nonary game. His sister is Akane, the person that Junpei is looking for. <laughs> They're currently missing, they get away with it. And Ace, who put on the first Nonary game, is also missing? No. Ace is like captured. That's it. That's that's the quick lore of it. Uh, I think that's it. I don't remember anything else. I'm gonna get into the game, then I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, and this and that and this and that. I'm losing it, but I I do think that is it. If anyone remembers anything else, you know, go ahead and tell me. <laughs> I don't know, was there anything else that was relevant? Oh, I broke my tablet. Not my tablet, but it has- oh no, wait, I fixed it. It has a little port where I can store the, the USB thingy for when I'm not using it. And I had broken it, but I had fixed it now, so it's fine. <sighs> Let's get a picture of all these characters to see how little justice I've done them. Uh. I'll start playing this sometime soon. I'm getting the image. I'm getting it. Where is it? What is this? It can't be downloaded securely. Why? It's an IGN picture. What the fuck? wrong with you? Just download it, asshole. I'm gonna get a virus. <laughs> Who are the lions? Oh, right! There was a bunch of shit about lions? That were eating the sun? Like metaphors and shit? I don't remember. <laughs> Well, there they are. There they are. Look how right I did by them. <laughs> look, look how right I did by them. I'll say I got Dio pretty right. <laughs> Dio's pretty good. You know? Ugh. 
Fi's not bad. I forgot her hair thing. Yeah. Yeah. I did okay. <laughs> um, there's like... Poetry about lions eating the sun. There's some imagery about that. Like, a lot. Um... Oh, yeah. Uh. During the Dio ending, um, Phi, Sigma, and Dio make it outside of the warehouse, and we find out what the outside looks like. It's a fucking wasteland. <laughs> it's a wasteland. Um, which is the most prevalent reason why I think we're in the future, anyways. And Dio has a bomb that... I don't know. He's trying to set off, we try to defuse, I don't know. <laughs> you totally forgot Sigma looked like that. Yeah, me too. He's just a dude. Hold on. I'm the Sigma male. I'm the Sigma male. I've become the Sigma male. You can see his mouth move. I'm the Sigma male. I'm the Sigma male. I'm Sigma. I'm a college student. I got abducted on Christmas. Um, I can travel through timelines. Um... I don't have any other real discerning features. I'm part of a game. Um, in one of the timelines, I risked everything so Clover would uh, do sexy times with me, but she like girl bossed me too hard. Uh. Wait, can I frown? It's really hard to frown with this model. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm serious. Okay, enough. Okay, enough. <laughs> I lost a viewer. <laughs> Anyways, that's my recap of uh, Virtue's Last Reward. I think it was underwhelming at best, but I'm excited to get back into the game. I'm excited to do another recap before I start the game. I don't remember where I left off. I... it might even be in the middle of the game. I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh, hi! My dog! He's on the bed! He went up on the bed by himself. Oh, what a good boy. Oh, what a good boy. Yay. You want to hang out? You're so cute. Anyways. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get into the game. Maybe even next stream. I don't know. Uh, I had initially wanted to do the recap. Something like how... Uh, Hold on, one second. Um, I'll say I've been watching uh, Penny Parker's Nap Cube 
play through b -b 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 Yakuza 8. Uh. Wow, it's Chrome! <laughs> and she also went on break from doing streams for that for like 10 months. And she also did a recap for it when she came back. And I. Uh, I really love the recap that she did, so I'm gonna show it. Where is it? Oh my god, I'm gonna lose my mind. Ugh. Don't eat that! That's my notebook! Oh my god, I just broke everything. <laughs> okay, uh, Spotify? Shush. Add a new audio source. <laughs> Wait, no, Chrome should be capturing, no? Isn't Chrome capturing? I hate you. Uh... I just want to show a video. Is that too hard? Grr, 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 grr. Okay. <sighs> what? Uh, Yakuza. Oh yeah, uh, Yakuza 8 spoilers. <laughs> I think she did a great job recapping this. Stop. Wait, it's not- is it? Can you hear it? I don't think you can. Why not? I think I fixed it. Also, I think the sound is on a bit of a delay, but that's fine. This is a story of crime. You can't hear it? You should be able to hear it now. It's your special story, it goes something like this. 1971, Masumi Arakawa, Yokohama child plays a lady on the stage. Can you hear it? That's weird. Okay. But don't worry, there's more. Got a dad, so what? it's cool. <laughs> Picking ducks, super cool. Eating it is what they'll do, cause it's the king of Chinese who will go to piss. What is this? Here a gun, can I miss? Welcome back now, his dad's a little dead before the snack. Yakuza like a dragon. It's a RPG and it's pretty good. Yakuza like a dragon. You can also call it Yakuza 7. Kasuga, member of the Yakuza. <laughs> I've been listening to this a lot. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? And it's pretty good. Yakuza like a dragon. You could also call it Yakuza 7.
Get ready for the rap part. Didn't get this to work with the melody, so basically Ichi wakes up in a camp full of homeless people and meets a guy named Nanga who teaches him what it's like to live on the streets. Oh, and yeah. some other stuff happens, including mocking and dodging this morally upright protest group called Hompi Japan, and eventually getting permission to stay in this place owned by sex workers, which they now protect. So bland. The owner Nono Mia assigns them to watch an employee Nanoha digging into her situation. They encounter Chairman Hoshino of the Seru clan who puts a stop to the scam, but Nono Mia is found dead. Yakuza like a dragon. It's a RPG and it's pretty good. Yakuza like a dragon. You could also call it Yakuza 7. The town psycho is here, she is not no hot sister. A bunch of other shit happens. Uh, no, no, Mia's death was foul play, so the team investigates a secret warehouse scam. The place is run by the Liu Mong, and we think what's going on is that they're printing fake money, and that's the story so far. Oh, there's more. Uh, we also run a company, and we're the boss of a company, and we're gonna try to get rich. Yakuza, I'm that's the whole thing. <laughs> it's a RPG. I love this. I've been watching it a lot. I don't want to sing this anymore. And I mean, obviously, my first idea because I'm like in the same exact position. I was playing a game and then I dropped it for a long time, and now I have to do a recap. I was like, I could do it like this, but then I realized, no, I can't, <laughs> because I like all skills to do this. So I did it the way I do in MS Paint. That's it. Away with you. Why is this here? Go go there. Uh. Yeah, that's it. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna stream next. Just just saying. Mm, tomorrow is. Bachelor in Paradise, though I don't know, Pat might be busy, so we might not be able to watch. Um, bum, 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 bum. I might stream on Thursday, but I have an appointment early on Friday, so... Who knows? Who knows? I might be playing VLR. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Um, and I've started putting together a set list for a karaoke eventually. But I kind of want to get my mic set up better, so I'm like not peeking. <laughs> so that's gonna have to wait until that happens. Yeah, I think that's my stream for today. I don't think I'm gonna raid anybody. Uh, just a short and sweet one, you know? Short and sweet, where I go a little bit crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Follow me on Twitter. Have a nice day. Goodbye!